The U.S. rail industry has fallen behind compared to the fast modern train systems in other parts of the world. Still, it has made progress by teaming up with major global companies like Alstom, Hitachi, and especially Spain's Renfe. But now, Renfe has made a surprising decision that could have a big impact on America's high-speed rail plans. So, what exactly did Renfe announce, and why is it making headlines? Let's break it down in today's episode of Great Train Speed. Imagine a future where traveling between Dallas and Houston takes less time than it takes to watch a movie. That's the vision behind the Amtrak Texas High Speed Rail Project, a bold initiative that was originally set in motion by Texas Central Partners with the total original investment estimated at $30 billion. A huge amount of money, right? The plan was simple yet ambitious. Build a 240 mile rail line connecting two of Texas' largest cities with trains racing at speeds of up to 205 miles per hour thanks to Japan's revolutionary Shinkansen technology. In less than 90 minutes, travelers could zip from one city to the other, transforming the daily commute for thousands and making a journey that once took hours into a quick, comfortable ride. But the project wasn't just about speed. It caught the attention of Texans and the wider public because it promised to ease the relentless congestion along the I-45 corridor, one of the busiest highways in the state. Every day, this stretch of road was a bottleneck with traffic jams that seemed never ending. The high-speed rail would not only reduce these jams, but also help the environment. It was estimated that it could cut down on over 100,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions each year, providing a cleaner, more sustainable option than the car and plane travel that dominated the route. And the benefits didn't stop there. By taking around 12,500 vehicles off the road each day, the rail line would improve air quality, lower maintenance costs for the heavily used highway, and help make the entire region's transportation more efficient. It was a bold step toward modernizing Texas's infrastructure and keeping up with global trends in high-speed rail. In 2023, the project took another significant leap forward. Amtrak, recognizing the potential of the Texas high-speed rail, partnered with Texas Central to push the initiative ahead. They began applying for federal funding and set the wheels of planning in motion. With each step, the dream of a high-speed rail connection between Dallas and Houston moved closer to becoming a reality, a promise of a faster, greener, and more connected future for the state. Although the project seems incredibly promising and holds the potential to bring significant benefits to the Southeast region, and even to America as a whole, it still faces several hurdles that could delay its completion for years beyond the original schedule. So what are the reasons behind these setbacks? Stay tuned for the next part to find out. And before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any updates from our channel about the world of trains. We are really proud to announce today uh, the selection of Renfe as our operating partner. To launch such a massive project, relying on a single manufacturer is simply too much of a burden. Therefore, Texas Central sought assistance from overseas, and Renfe, Spain's state-owned railway company, emerged as a key partner. Renfe, founded in 1941, has long been a leader in high-speed rail and extensive passenger services. Synonymous with innovation in the rail industry, Renfe operates a vast network connecting cities throughout Spain and internationally. Renfe high-speed trains have set the standard for rail travel efficiency and sustainability. Renfe expanded its reach beyond Spain, joining forces with Amtrak to share its expertise with the U.S. rail system. Through this partnership, Renfe brings its deep knowledge of high-speed rail development and operations, aiming to enhance the U.S. rail experience, particularly by modernizing infrastructure and improving service efficiency. This cooperation, however, was short-lived due to financial challenges. Renfe, the Spanish company, on June 23, 2025, ultimately ended its business venture in the United States by liquidating its subsidiary, Renfe of America. The decision came after the company recognized accumulated losses of 4.5 million euros and recorded a 100% impairment on investments made over more than five years. As reflected in the annual accounts of its subsidiary, 
for the 2024 fiscal year. The project faced a series of setbacks, including delays, legal obstacles, and financial troubles, ultimately reaching a standstill following the withdrawal of public support by the Donald Trump administration in April 2025. Much hyped, much talked about, high-speed rail project be coming to a grinding halt. The U.S. Department of Transportation referred to the proposal as a risky undertaking for the taxpayer and announced the cancellation of $63.9 million in federal aid that had been directed through Amtrak. Estimates suggested that construction costs would have exceeded $40 billion. In addition to the investment impairment, Renfe had to absorb significant extraordinary losses due to outstanding receivables accumulated over the years. Despite achieving revenues of 16.9 million euros and a positive operating result of 3.2 million euros, and the impact of the Renfe of America impairment, coupled with the tax effects on profits, resulted in a net loss of 853,000 euros for the year, an improvement over the previous year's loss of 947,000 euros. How has this news impacted rail enthusiasts and residents in the region? What are your thoughts? Drop a comment below and let us know how you feel about this situation. It'll bring jobs. Um, America in general needs high-speed rail. Public reaction to the cancellation of the Texas high-speed rail project and Renfe's subsequent withdrawal from the U.S. market reflects a mix of disappointment, frustration, and resigned skepticism. Many citizens who had followed the project over the years expressed a deep sense of loss, viewing the collapse not just as a failed infrastructure venture, but as a broader missed opportunity for economic growth, environmental progress, and modernization of U.S. transportation. GOP knife their own, one commenter remarked bitterly, suggesting that political interference, particularly from conservative lawmakers, ultimately sabotaged a project that could have brought substantial benefits to Texans. Others pointed out the irony of the situation, noting that Spain's Renfe, despite suffering financial losses, got off cheap, while Texas and its residents bore the brunt of the failure. A general tone of pessimism permeated many reactions. Some comments were succinct and emotionally raw, like, this sucks, reflecting the weariness of those who had hoped for a transformative change in how Texans move between cities. Others identified specific causes for the project's demise, such as America's deep-rooted car culture, all because of cars, or corporate resistance from air travel companies. Several citizens voiced empathy, pointing out that airlines like Southwest had little to gain and much to lose from a functioning high-speed rail line and may have influenced public sentiment or policy behind the scenes. There was also a pragmatic perspective from some who noted the inherent financial risk of a privately funded mega project of this scale. You just can't do a project of that scale without public backing, one commenter observed, highlighting the absence of reliable federal support. A segment of the public saw the project's failure as inevitable, given what they viewed as unrealistic costs. It's not surprising that they canceled it. HSR is never going to happen at $100 million a mile, one person noted, arguing that the financial burden outweighed any potential benefit. This reflects a common skepticism in the U.S. regarding the viability of high-speed rail, especially in sprawling, car-dependent regions like Texas. Ultimately, while Renfe's departure marked the formal end of a transatlantic rail partnership, the broader sense among many Americans is that the real cost is borne by the public, by commuters, job seekers, and communities left without modern alternatives to congested highways and crowded airports. Following its exit from the Texas High-Speed Rail Project, Renfe is set to expand its high-speed rail network significantly in the near future. In the second quarter of 2025, it will inaugurate a new route between Barcelona and Toulouse, offering six daily trains that directly connect 17 cities across Spain and southern France, reinforcing sustainable cross-border mobility. Renfe has been rolling out its cutting-edge S106 train sets with speed up to 205 miles per hour, featuring 11 coach configurations, wide carriages, accessible amenities, onboard Wi-Fi, and higher capacity, enhancing its domestic fleet across Asturias and Galicia since May 2024. On the international stage, 
Renfe has signed a strategic cooperation agreement with Japan's JR Central to share technical expertise, operations, and maintenance protocols, a move aimed at bolstering its position in global high-speed rail. Additionally, the operator continues investing in modernizing its rolling stock, upgrading traction heads, and converting sleeper carriages to AVE standards, up to 205 miles per hour, to improve safety, comfort, and environmental efficiency. Collectively, these initiatives showcase a bold, forward-looking strategy, strengthening domestic capacity, extending international connectivity, and exporting high-speed rail innovation worldwide. Renfe's withdrawal from the Texas High-Speed Rail Project marks a sobering reminder of the challenges facing ambitious rail initiatives in the U.S., from political headwinds to financial uncertainty. Yet, while America's high-speed rail future remains uncertain, Renfe is not slowing down. With major expansions across Europe, cutting-edge train technology and global partnerships in the works, Spain's rail giant is doubling down on what it knows best building the future of high-speed rail where the tracks are ready to run. And that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we did putting it together. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and as always, go train. <laughs>